Welcome to day 150. We are in Proverbs 11 through 13, and I only have one thing to talk about today. I know, it sounds crazy, uh, but it's a big thing. Um, this one is really all about discipline in today's reading. Uh, so let's read the, the three little scriptures I have here and just have a little conversation about them. Uh, actually, it starts in ver uh, chapter 11, but I'm going to start in chapter 12, verse 1. To learn, you must love discipline. It is stupid to hate correction. Yes, we don't like to hear that we did something wrong. But at the same time, we when we do something, we show something to somebody, it's really the criticism that we're wanting from them. To, so we can be better. We're going to say, oh, look at this cool thing that happened that I worked on. And then somebody says, well, you, know, you could have wore a suit and tie versus your Manning jersey. Uh, okay, yeah, because you show somebody because you want reward, but at the same time, you want to become better. Um, and then we go to thir chapter 13, verse 1, and it says, A wise child accepts a parent's discipline. A mocker refuses to listen to correction. Again, same thing from yesterday. We are talking about um, good people versus bad people. Um, discipline, especially in a classroom, uh, is a necessity. You're doing something wrong. You got to be disciplined. And if there's no discipline, then you know that stuff, the mocking and the and the apathy and laziness runs amok. And the good the good side, they're sitting there going, why am I working so hard? So when discipline does not occur, it hurts both sides. It doesn't just hurt the person who's doing bad. So mocking uh, is is allowed to progress. So uh, a wise child accepts discipline. You can tell which children and which people eventually ended up uh, not wanting discipline. And then we get to verse 24 of chapter 13, and it says, Those who spare the rod of discipline hate their children. That's pretty severe. Those who spare the rod, those meaning parents, basically, uh, and teachers, who spare the rod of discipline. You must hate children. That's that's what it says. If you spare the try, the rod, you hate children. Those who love their children care enough to discipline them. That doesn't mean you have to beat your children, but it does say you need to discipline them. That's what it's all about. It doesn't mean you have to be angry about it. You can do it in a, a content way um, and teach them that way as well. There's other ways, uh, other things that talk about um, how you teach your children. So um, that is your day one in 150. It's about discipline and how important discipline really is uh, because discipline leads to a good foundation all right so that's day 150 we'll see you tomorrow